I don't know if you've ever heard of the word quarantine, but uh, basically what that means, if you are quarantined, that means you cannot leave a specific area and nobody can come into that area. Right now, there's a town in Texas called Purden, Texas. It's not far from Dallas. Uh, I don't know exactly what happened. I just know that a couple people there had the Ebola virus. So they put the entire town under quarantine. Now, as you already know, the government has been putting certain parts of the nation under martial law to see how the people react when they set off the bomb in Boston and all that stuff they did out in Ferguson, Missouri. But now they have a real excuse, the Ebola virus. All right, uh, I'm sure the Ebola virus is real. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the government is working to make that virus spread fast. That way that they, you know what I mean, they can put more areas under quarantine. Now, from what I read myself on the Internet, uh, is that the people that lived in that town, their electricity was cut. Uh, the cell phone towers have been cut, so you cannot use a cell phone. You cannot use Internet. You can't use any of that stuff. And from what I read... If you were seen leaving your house, you were considered a threat to the general public and a threat to national security, so you will be shot and killed on sight, or you will be detained. Now, from what I read, the people in that town were taken to relocation camps, FEMA camps. Okay, now, I don't know what's true and what's not true. I just know that there's people talking about Purden, Texas, and I'm sure that ain't the only town. All right? That may be the only town that the government is admitting is under quarantine. Okay? Now, let me just give you a little basic idea of what it would be like if your town were to go under quarantine. You would not be able to leave your house. If you left your house, you would be considered a threat to national security and the general public. People in white suits would probably run and grab you and tie you, tie your hands behind your back and throw you into a van or some kind of truck and take you away to some jail, basically, where there's other people that are sick, where there's people vomiting and throwing up all over the place. Okay, so if you don't have the virus, by you being around these people who are sick and by you being in this nasty environment, you're probably going to get it. Okay, so that gives the government more of an excuse to detain the area. Alright, now, I'm not trying to scare anybody here. I'm just telling you the way it is. Alright, now, I don't want you to take my word on any of this. I want you, you have a computer, obviously, or a telephone, or something with internet connection if you're watching me right now. I want you to go on the internet, and I want you to look this up for yourself, and I want you to tell everyone you know. So you don't think I'm crazy. I want everybody to know about what's happening. Okay? Because as a soldier in God's army, my job is to warn you. And once you're aware, your job is to warn everybody else. Okay? There's not much time left. Yeah, let's just... Let's just say they were to put this area here under quarantine, Philadelphia. They're going to cut the electricity so there ain't going to be no lights. All right, they're going to cut the electric to the cell phone towers. So your cell phone's not going to be able to talk to the other cell phones across the street. Okay, you're not going to be able to talk to anybody unless you have a CB radio or a walkie-talkie or some form of analog communication. All right, so not only are you going to be stuck in your house with no kind of entertainment, they're probably going to come and try and get you and take you away. All right? So, just be prepared, and just spread the message. Let people know about this, all right? There's, very shortly, we need to come together as brothers and sisters, very shortly. All right? It, there, there is never a time in history like this. Okay? All right, I can, yaw, I can yap and talk about this all day, but I'm not going to. I'm just trying to let you know. I advise you to just tell everybody you know and do your research on this. Type in Purdon, Texas. P-U-R-D-O-N, 
Texas. And as soon as you type that in on Google, you're going to be reading the same exact thing that I was reading. Okay, hopefully the government don't take that off of there. Just go on there, do your research. All right, and, and get prepared because very shortly, you're probably going to have to leave the area that you're in. Very shortly. Like me, I'm probably going to have to leave this city. All right, if you're living in like a populated area, you're probably going to have to leave. All right, once this Ebola spreads, the government's going to come after us full force. This is not a joke. I'm very serious about this, all right? Do your research. Don't fear. Trust in the Lord because God always has a plan. All right?